keep. <laughs> MTG Mike. Hey gang, and welcome back. Just a reminder, you can now use the promo code MTGMUDSTA, all caps, at FlipSideGaming.com. You'll get 10% off orders over $10 and help with the channel at the same time. In today's game, I'm playing the Locust God, keeping Soul Ring, Ponder, Preordain, Unsubstantiate, Shiv and Reef, Cryptic Command, and an Island. Mike is playing Dromar, keeping Bajuka Bog, Glacial Fortress, Two Plains, Archfiend of Depravity, and Divinity of Pride. Trevor is playing Fraley's, keeping two forests, Green Sun Zenith, Arbor Elf, Soul Ring, Azuri's Predation, and Tranquil Thicket. And lastly, Matt is playing his Azuri deck, keeping Court of Calling, Priest of Titania, two islands, a forest, Lanoir Elves, and Hunting Triad. Matt wins the die roll and starts us off. Matt plays a forest and casts Lanoir Elves. Trevor plays a forest and casts his Soul Ring. I see Trevor's forest and up the ante, playing an island and cast my own soul ring. Mike plays a Bajuka Bog and exiles my graveyard. Matt plays an island and drops Priest of Titania. He swings a Lanoir Elves at Mike for one and passes. Trevor plays a forest and he casts Arbor Elf. He then pays three to cast Reclamation Sage to blow up my soul ring. He does so stating that his ring is the one to rule them all. I play a ship and reef and I pass my turn. Mike plays a Plains and passes. Matt plays an Island and he casts Azuri before passing to Trevor. Trevor pays 5 to cast Fraley's, using his Arbor Elf to untap a forest. Still a bit spiteful from having my Soul Ring blown up, I unsubstantiate Fraley's back to Trevor's hand. Trevor then plays a forest and passes turn. I draw for turn and I cast Ponder. I rearrange the top 3, drawing and playing an Island. I then cast Preordain with my new Island. I leave one on top, and I bottom the other, then draw a card, and pass to Mike. Mike plays a Glacial Fortress, passing turn. Matt drops a forest and casts Hunting Triad, not realizing just how much mana his priest is making. He gains three tokens, and three experience counters as a result. Moving to combat, Matt puts the three counters from Azuri's trigger on his priest, and he passes to Trevor. Trevor plays a forest, and he recasts Fraley's. He upticks her to make a token, and then cast Crop Rotation, sacrificing a forest to go and find, you guessed it, Gaia's Cradle. He then taps the Cradle to pay for Green Sun Zenith, finding and putting his own Priest of Titania onto the field. Moving to combat, he hits me for two with a Reclamation Sage, and passes. I play an Island, and I pass to Mike. Mike copies my line of play, but drops an Underground River instead, and passes. Matt plays a Homeward Path as his land for turn, and he casts Lightning Greaves. He puts the Greaves onto his copy of the Priest, and I realize that both Priests now tap for 10 green mana. Trevor tries to sway Matt to deal with Mike and myself, as we're holding up all of our mana and have blue, but Matt decides to play it safe, and passes. Trevor down ticks Fraley's to destroy Matt's Lightning Greaves. He taps his Priest for 10 mana, and uses 3 of it to cast Song of the Dryads, targeting Matt's Priest. With the ore on the stack, Matt taps his own Priest for 10, and casts Court of Calling where X is 7. He grabs Regal Force, who draws him 7 cards upon entering. The aura then resolves, and tapping his soul ring, Trevor casts Azuri's Predation. The spell resolves, and Trevor gains 6 beast tokens, who then proceed to overrun most of Matt's board. Matt decides this isn't really fair, so he casts Beast Within to take out Trevor's Priest of Titania. Trevor then taps his cradle, and a lot more mana to cast Lifeblood Hydra, where X is 10. I counter it with a Cryptic Command, and I bounce Fraley's back to Trevor's hand. In response to this, Trevor swings his non-summoning sick creatures, dealing 4 to me. I play a Mountain, and I cast Faithless Looting, drawing and discarding two, and then pass to Mike. Mike plays a Plains, and he casts an Indulgent Tormentor. Matt plays a Forest, and he casts Cross and Grip on the Song of the Dryads. With his Priest of Titania free, he taps her to cast Marowyn, the Nurturer. He then drops a Findhorn Elves, giving Marowyn a plus one plus one counter. Matt then casts a Sylvan Library, and he passes to Trevor. Trevor taps his Cradle, and he recasts Fraley's. He down takes his walker to destroy Matt's Sylvan Library, and uses some of the floating mana to cast Lanoir Elves. Moving to combat, he swings all of those new lovely beasts and the beast token from the beast within, and the Reclamation Sage at me, dropping me to 13. He passes, telling me to enjoy my last turn of this game. I play an island for my turn, and I cast Inundate, bouncing all non-blue creatures back to their controller's hands. With nothing else, I pass to Mike. Mike plays a Fetid Pools, which comes in play tapped, and he casts Divinity of Pride. Matt plays a Forest, and he recasts Azuri. He then drops a Findhorn Elves, gaining another experience counter. He moves to combat, 
Putting the four plus one plus one counters on Finhorn Elves, and he passes to Trevor. Trevor draws, and he makes a token with Freilies. He then casts Lanowar Elves, Arbor Elf, and he plays a forest before passing to me. I draw for turn, and I pass to Mike. Mike plays an Evolving Wilds, and he casts Clone. I stop him from gaining a second copy of Divinity of Pride with Dream Fracture, countering the spell, and Mike and I get to draw a card. Moving to combat, to the surprise of no one, Mike hits me with a Divinity, dealing 8 and gaining 8 life. He then cracks the wilds and passes turn. Matt plays a forest and he casts Merowyn again, gaining another experience counter. He then replays the Priest of Titania, gaining another experience counter and moving to combat. He puts the 6 plus 1 plus 1 counters on Merowyn and he passes to Trevor. Trevor upticks Freilies once more, making another elfin friend. He then casts Rishkar, putting one of the plus one plus one counters on Rishkar, and the second one on the Arbor Elf. Trevor then swings four points of damage at me, and he passes. For my turn, I flash back Faithless Looting, drawing two and discarding two. I play a Reliquary Tower as my land for turn, and I pass to Mike. Mike casts Soul Ring in his main phase, and he swings the Divinity at Matt. He deals eight, and gains eight, and in his second main phase, Mike casts Archfiend to Depravity before passing to Matt. Matt untaps and draws for turn, playing an island for his land. He brings out a deranged hermit, gaining 4 squirrel tokens and 5 total experience counters. He counts up the elves, and he taps his priest for 9, paying 7 of it to recast Regal Force. Matt draws a good chunk of cards, and then casts Soul Ring, which he just presumably drew. Matt then casts a Fathom Mage, gaining another experience counter, and he moves to combat. He puts all 12 plus 1 plus 1 counters from Azuri's trigger onto his Fathom Mage, drawing 12 cards. In his second main phase, Matt casts Umbral Mantle, equipping the Combolicious Artifact onto Marwyn. He now has infinite green mana at this point, and he casts Heritage Druid, gaining Experience Counter, Panharmonicon, Skull Clamp, Imperius Perfect, his own copy of Freilies, and then drops the Terastodon. He targets Trevor's Freilies, Mike's Soul Ring, and Trevor's Guy's Cradle. Matt then casts Elvish Promenade, gaining a bunch more elf tokens, which means even more experience counters. Matt then casts Elvish Hardbringer to go and find Gaia's Herald, putting it on top of his library. Matt then equips a Skull Clamp onto one of his squirrels, drawing two cards, and then does it again, drawing two more, before finally putting it to a third and drawing two more. Have you drawn enough cards yet, Matt? He casts Gaia's Herald. I guess he hasn't drawn enough, because Matt casts Rishkar's Expertise, drawing a further 9 cards thanks to the Terastodon. He gets to cast Azuri Renegade Leader for free thanks to the Expertise, and then drops Wild Pair. With the enchantment on the field, Matt casts Wood Elves and searches for a forest and a creature. He grabs Sage of Hours, putting it onto the field along with a forest. He realizes he should have had two triggers from both Wild Pair and the Wood Elves, and Matt grabs the Wirewood Symbiote and another forest. Matt, still with access to infinite green mana, taps his remaining island to cast an overloaded Cyclonic Rift, which I stop with a Swan Song. Matt gets a bird token, and gains two experience counters thanks to the Panharmonicon and Azuri. With nothing else, Matt has to discard down to seven, and then sacrifice all but two of his creatures. He leaves his Sage of Hours, and Merowyn, giving the rest of the table basically one turn to deal with him or we lose. Trevor draws for turn, and feels the pressure mounting. He casts a Court of Calling, where X is seven, to go and find his own copy of Regal Force. He draws 8 cards, and he plays Nykthos as land for turn, which he activates for 7 green mana. He taps one more land to cast Freilies, and down takes Freilies to blow up Umbral Mantle. He moves to his end step, and he sacrifices keeping only his regal force and Rishkar before passing to me. At this point, I need to draw a Cyclonic Rift, which I don't. I do find a Magma Quake though, but sitting at 1 life, and with my second red source dealing 1 to me if I tap it, it can't do very much, so I pass. Mike draws, and he casts Return to Dust, exiling Matt's Soul Ring and Skull Clamp. He then casts a Mimic Vat, and moving to combat, swings his Archfiend at Matt's Freilies. Matt untaps for his turn, and he recasts his commander. He then casts an Eternal Witness, grabbing the Cyclonic Rift back to his hand. He casts it, bouncing the Archfiend back to Mike's hand. Matt is now able to go as wide as he wants, with infinite turns thanks to the Azuri and the Sage, and we as a table realize this, scooping it up. Game review time. So, right off the bat, I think I took Trevor blowing up my soul ring a little too personally, especially considering it was my only mana rock, I was pretty far behind in terms of how much mana I had access to. 
This put me on the defensive from almost the get-go, which meant that I had to save my mana for either counter spells or for ways to deal with retaliatory attacks. Mike was in a similar situation where he didn't draw any mana rocks and basically was just playing a land per turn and hoping he didn't die. He did have the benefit of gaining a lot of life from the Divinity of Pride, but ultimately that didn't get him anywhere in the end. Explosive as ever, Trevor's Fraley's deck did a lot with very little mana, except for a guy's cradle, which, you know, is super fair. It seemed to take very little for him to recover, and he was constantly drawing cards and getting lots of mana dorks, and he was a big threat for most of the game. Unfortunately for Trevor, it doesn't matter how many mana dorks or how big your board is when you never get to have another turn. In hindsight, I probably should have countered the wild pair with Swan Song, but I figured it'd be better to counter something that was more important and more game winning, and besides that, I'd never seen Matt actually use Sage of Hours in his deck before. This was certainly a learning experience, as I thought his deck was more elf-centric, but you never know, and you should always be aware of these kind of issues popping up. I don't think you can even be mad at Matt for winning the combo at this point, because he had to wait a whole turn with everyone taking at least one draw to be able to find an answer to deal with him, and no one did. Please be sure to tune in every Monday and Thursday at 11am Eastern Standard Time for a guaranteed new video. You can also follow me on Twitter at MTGMudsta. You can find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash mtgmudsta. And lastly, you can check me out when I stream at twitch.tv slash mtgmudsta. This video is brought to you in support by my patrons. If you're looking for a way to help out the channel, please be sure to visit the link below. Thank you all for watching this video, and don't forget, friends are just opponents you haven't eliminated yet.